Who's going to Hollywood? American Idol. The final audition starts now. Last week on American Idol, we auditioned five cities in our search for the next singing superstar. So far, amidst the tears, the tantrums, the fear, and the fury, 158 have made it through. Tonight, as spots to the next round in Hollywood are getting harder to come by, we wonder if Atlanta can deliver us another Tamira Gray, and if Nashville can serve up a Leanne Rhymes. Atlanta and Nashville, a double dose of Southern Comfort next on American Idol. Atlanta may have hosted the 1996 Olympics, but 6,500 hopefuls camping out for a chance to audition is a whole new ball game. By the time they got to Atlanta, the judges had seen it all and heard it all. To make matters worse, Paula was absent due to a prior engagement, and shocker, Simon woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm not in a great mood today. Oh, You're not. Um, what I would say is this. I'm going to give you some advice. We will judge you, not just on your singing ability, we will judge you how you walk in the room. We will judge you based on your singing, and most of you won't be able to do that. And we will also judge you based on how you react to positive and also negative criticism. So Atlanta may have pulled the short straw. There would be no kind words from Paula Abdul on this day. For anyone else, that would be nerve-wracking. But 19-year-old college student Nikki Nicholson had the chops to go first and warm him up. Seeing her skin feeling silky smooth, hey, color of cafe au lait, made that savage beast inside roar till it cried more, more, more. Well done. Randy? I liked it. I thought it was good. That's a tough, tough, tough song. Really to tough. Really hard. And you did a good job on it. I was impressed. You look fabulous. You sound good. And fabulous is always better than good. We'll see you in Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood, Nikki. Yeah. Nikki was just a taste of the hot talent Atlanta had to offer. And once again, the girls got off to a kicking start. Amongst them, Jessica Cox, who had some sound advice for the contestants. They are not that bad. Just so all of you know, if you go in there and you're yourself, they respect you more. And they're just, they're not that bad of people. And Be yourself. That's good advice. But not if you're Johnny Lee, a pre-med student and future celebrity. Hey, Simon. Johnny, why are you here? I'm here because I want to be a star. A superstar, that is. And what are you going to say? I'm singing Ain't No Mountain High Enough. That is one Go of my favorite it. songs of all time. Okay. Good. Doing proud. Listen, baby. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide in the baby. When you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far. Don't worry, baby, just call on my name. I'll be there in a hurry. Well, that was my favorite song of all time. <laughs> Bye, Johnny, other way. It is an experience I will never forget. And if it comes again, I'm going to do it again, okay? Yeah! I'm not going to give up. I think that's a threat. So as Simon's favorite song lay twitching on the floor, we meet Omega, a dancer who is going to really show our judges how to groove. I'm a performer. Y'all call this an audition, but I call it a performance. All right, now. I'm going to do my thing. Okay. Omega, what do you do? Watch and see. All I could think of when you were performing is how I would pay you to stop. <laughs> it was just exhausting. 
Well, I'm a performer. I can see that. What do you and mean? I don't, and I'm, a, I'm not a born person. That was so over the top. I don't think you're for Hollywood. I don't think this is this is the kind of thing for you, at least not for American Idol. The answer is no. All right, well, I disagree with you, first of all, and I will be in Hollywood, second of all, and one day I'll have my own show, and maybe y'all could come out and audition for me, and I'll tell you what I think. I don't think you'll talk to me. You might want to be the judges. Maybe I'll hire you. From another planet to another generation, maybe a competent crooner like Clay Aiken can make Simon sit up straight in his chair. Okay, why are you here? I am. Uh, I'm the American Idol. Really? I am. You see the first show? I did. And what were your thoughts? Um, I thought uh, you had some good talent. You had some good talent. But I think uh, as far as the top ten goes, I could have been up there. Really? Yeah. Mm. Okay. What are you going to sing? Singing Always and Forever. Okay. Take time to tell me you really care. And we'll share tomorrow together. Baby, I'll always love you forever. Okay, very good. You don't look like a pop star, but you've got a great voice. Yeah, weird. It's wild. So now what? Randy, yes or no? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I say yes. I think you can work on your style. You've got a really good voice, though. It's just really wild for me to hear that voice coming out of this Little look. Little white boy, right? He can sing. Clayton, we'll see you in Hollywood. Congratulations. Welcome to Hollywood, Clayton. Thank you very much. Well done. So Clay looked wrong, but sounded just right. But we were left with no doubt about this man. I think you're possibly the worst singer in the world. Could he really be that bad? Yep. Find out after the break. Plus, Simon ruffles some southern feathers. I'm mad as hell. You're going to wish you had never screwed around with me. Oh, yeah. And be sure to tune in tomorrow night at 8.30 to find out who made the top 32 in Hollywood. The good old South, y'all. Atlanta, Georgia. My hometown. Magnolia trees. Peach trees. People who say yes -um, and that good old Southern charm. But the Southern charm stops here. This is what I think of Paula right now. And I hope she's watching. Randy gets the bottle of the black of my It's like my That's all I care. When I come back, you're going to wish you had never screwed around with me. I've never, ever in my life been told that I wasn't good enough. Ever. Wow. Until today. Simon, you are they're kind of jealous of my looks, but because Randy knows a little overweight. You know, slim fast don't work for everybody, but. Now you're here like you've been before, and you know just what I need. It took some time for me to see. I'm going to stop you there. Okay. You know your problem, Joshua? You don't sing like a pop singer, you sing like a cabaret singer. Why do you I could imagine you on a boat in the Caribbean. On oh, a boat? Oh, on a boat? What size boat? A big boat. <laughs> you can make a living out of your voice. Oh, that's better. Thank you. But you're not coming to Hollywood. Oh, but man. You can still make a living out of your voice. Well, I just, can I, I just want to say, if I, I'm a singer and I, it's at heart. Good. Just keep working on it, dog. Get better. Keep so working. Joshua takes his anger outside. Simon is whack. He's, he didn't even give me a chance to sing another day. And the song. disagreement continues. Joshua, but it's okay. There he is. Um, that's, you know that ain't fair, though. What do you mean? It's you know that's not fair saying I'm a boat Simon, singer? I'd say you can own a living out of your voice, which a lot of people you know what can't. You own a living is. Okay, fine. Don't work on a boat, then. Whatever. You don't work on a boat. I'm mad as hell. Not happy. Maybe it's better to put the attitude into a song, like 20-year-old Maria Ward. I'm going to sing a song that I wrote. Okay. You wrote about my violet lips and how for months you loved to kiss But now your love has gone astray I thought our hands would always stay together Baby, forever Well, you can take forever And shove it up your ass And you can take together out your vocabulary You can take forever And shove it up your ass 
were just vulgar. That was that was beautiful. Sorry. Beautiful. What's it called? Take forever and shove it up your. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Absolutely beautiful. I think that could be a hit. Yeah. So do I. I actually yeah. do. So do I. I actually do. This yeah. could become the American Idol theme song. I love it. Yeah. Totally yes or no? Laugh. I see this girl should come to Hollywood. See okay. you in Hollywood, kid. Welcome Wonderful. to Hollywood. Thank you so much. Love All right. You guys. Maria wasn't expecting her golden ticket, but she got the real surprise from one of our production assistants. Mm, yeah, go! Just kidding. That's her husband. So Maria added some attitude to her voice, and Mitchell Asa is counting on his designer look to set him apart. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. What are you going to sing for us? Always and forever. Mm. Go. Take time to tell me that you really care And we'll share tomorrow together I'll always love you forever I'm going to start with some bad news, first of all, I'm afraid. It's the clothes. <laughs> One of the worst shirts I have seen throughout. <laughs> The good news is you have a fantastic voice. Thank you. What do you think, Randy? I thought your voice was excellent. Very, very good. And I think it's only going to grow and get better in this competition because you can actually really sing. I'm going to give you some advice. Change the shirt. <laughs> I'd actually just wrap it up in a ball and hand it back to Ryan <laughs> when you get up. And I'm absolutely serious. You'll say this is much more you. The good news is you're coming to Hollywood. Welcome Thank to Hollywood. So Thank you so much. The one thing they said to change was is to not look like Ryan. This is not good for this is not a good day for me. No, you don't look like me at all. If Mitchell was given a hard time for dressing like me, then Josh Strickland, my long lost twin from South Carolina, doesn't stand a chance. It's such a mystery how you found something in me that I never knew was there ever, till you uncovered it so easily. All right. Simon. Well, Josh, um, okay, on a positive note, you look great. Thanks. You can sing well. Um, I, I think it's very important that you have role models in your life. But what I would suggest is, is always try and find a good role model. Right. I think you have possibly seen maybe Ryan Seacrest too much on TV. <laughs> then I have to say I, that I'm being serious here because really try and move away from that. I'll try. No, I mean it. Did okay. <laughs> Okay, just come oh, here. Ryan, just come Ryan, here come here, Ryan. Okay, I want to show you what you're going to look I, like I, in 20 years. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> now, do you know what I mean now? Yeah. Yeah. I Is do. he going to Hollywood or not? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Wait, yeah, listen. Stay, stay there a second, please, Ryan. Would you promise me one thing, that you will move away as much as possible from Ryan? Yes. Image-wise? Yes. <laughs> the good news is you're coming to Hollywood. Yes. Yeah. Even though Paula is absent from the Atlanta auditions, the contestants wanted to keep her spirit alive. Straight up now, tell me, is it gonna be American Idol? Oh, 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 oh. I had I kicked in the butt to go. <laughs> but colorful and quirky Vanessa Olivares was confident she would be meeting Paula Abdul in Hollywood. Hello, Matt. Hello, what's hey. going on now? How are you doing? What are you gonna sing? All right, I'm gonna sing um, Bohemian Rhapsody. Wow. Which wow. should be pretty interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Mama just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled the trigger, now he's dead. Mama, ooh, I don't want to die, but if I'm not back again this time tomorrow, carry on. Because nothing really matters. I'm going to stop you there because I don't want the other six minutes of it. But All right. Good, good. Ready? <laughs> Thanks. I thought it was excellent. I mean, I, I'm really impressed. That's a very tough song to sing. Yes or no? I say definitely yes. So it's down to me. It's Vanessa, to you. you are going to Hollywood. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, Vanessa. Yes. Thank you. Am I done? Okay, yes. excellent. Appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> So Vanessa bowled over the judges and me with her strong voice and her unique style. 
seems like Atlanta is quite the fashion capital with its spiked rockers, laid-back hipsters, and that. Image plays a big part in the music biz, and Kristen spotted someone who had really worked on his look. Meet Keith. You grew your hair longer and you lost 15 pounds. Yeah. When did you start doing that? About two months ago. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So why did you grow the hair out longer? You just thought that was more of an American Idol look? Yeah. Really, what kind of haircut did you have before? Um, I just, it was really about the same, it just had less hair. Okay, so let's see if Keith spent as much time on his voice as he did on his hair. So Keith, why are you here? I'm here because I think I'm the next American Idol. I'm very entertaining and unique. Mm. Okay, and what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Like a Virgin from Madonna. Okay, cool. Okay. I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through it. Didn't know how lost I was until I found you. I was beat and complete. I've been had. I was sad, blue, but you made me feel. Yeah, you made me feel shiny and new, like a virgin. Touched for the very first time, like a virgin, with your heartbeat. Okay. Next to what, do you do another song? Okay, I'm gonna do I Wanna Dance with Somebody. Okay. Oh. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. Keith. Yeah? Um, last year I described someone as being the worst singer in America. I think you're possibly the worst singer in the world, based on that performance. And I'm absolutely serious. I've never, ever heard anything like that in my life. Ever. Keith, that was horrific, man. Well, it was you, when you said interesting and unique, you said a mouthful. Oh, my God. No, but Keith, you, you've got to hear yourself to believe it. There is nobody on this planet who sings like you. Really. You've got to be kidding me. I'm being absolutely serious. I, I mean, are you serious? I don't think I'm the best singer in the world, but hey, I think I'm a good singer. What else do you love to do? Well, I like to dance. Just, you know, maybe get into dancing. Fine. Okay, other way. Simon is the biggest jerk I have ever met. Yeah. Yeah, and he told me, you remember when I heard about the worst singer in America? He told me I'm the worst singer in the world, so he can go kiss my ass. So as Keith strides off to dance class, we take a quick break. Coming up, false starts. Losing ground. They say I didn't think. And fantastic finishes. I'm falling in and out of love with you. You make a great pop star. And tomorrow night at 8.30, we'll reveal our top 32 in Hollywood. Well, it's not often you see a smile on Simon Cowell's face, but the caliber of talent in Atlanta had him showing off his caps. was until this a chance still a chance even when there's no one sitting there tell me will you stay or will you run away They say I'm the king. They say I'm the king. 
No more pain, no more pain, no more pain, no more pain. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> uh, that was terrible. No. No, terrible. No. You don't think that was terrible? No, I don't. Sound and stinks. He makes me sick. He really does. Yeah. Well, no one's perfect, and our audition certainly offered us up a mixed bag of contestants. With tickets to Hollywood hard to come by, they were willing to crawl, bribe, and beg. Please, no, no, no. Well, that's what we were going to say, no. Their way out of Atlanta. But most found it hard enough just finding their way out of the room. Out of the other way. Yeah, other way. It's the other way. Thank you. Good. Okay, other way. It's the other way. Thanks. Other way. Other <laughs> way. Other way. It's the other way. Thank you. Other way. It's the other way. Other way. The other way. Other way. The other way. God, am I not getting through today? Thank goodness 16 year old Stephanie Schultz found her way in. Hello. Hi. Stephanie, huh? Yep. So, what are you going to sing for us? I'm going to sing Alicia Keys' Fallen. Go for it. All right. I keep on falling in and out of love with you. I never love someone way that I love you. I'm falling in and out of love with you. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I think this girl's really good. I, I like her. I love her look. I Thank think you. she's incredibly attractive, and I thought she sang that song well, and it's a hard song to Thank sing. Thank you very as we've much. heard it many times. Do you make a great pop star? Yes or no? Definitely, definitely yes. Stephanie, you're coming to Hollywood. Congratulations. Welcome to Hollywood, Thank Steph. You. Thank you very much. Good job. Well done, kiddo. <laughs> Congratulations. Are you okay? Oh, I love this gig. Randy and Simon sent 46 people through to round two from Atlanta. That's a record, so they must have been pretty impressed. Before I leave Atlanta, I wanted to charm one last lady. How old are you? Eight. Eight? Guess how old I am. Um, 27. Dude, that's exactly how old I am. How'd you guess? Did you guess that? Yeah. Did someone tell you? No. Did you just guess 27? Yeah. I mean, you you guess 27, but you're thinking like 23. Like I look 23, but no. it's hard to it's hard to believe I'm 27. You're like 27. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. <laughs> well, you kind of look 23, but you know. Give me a hug. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up, our last audition city, Nashville, Tennessee. Paul is back. <laughs> Simon has an admirer. Simon's sexy. And our contestants are taking it all off. Hey, be here tomorrow night at 8.30 to find out who makes the top 32 in Hollywood. Last up on American Idol Season 2 is Nashville, known in the biz as Music City. Some of our country's biggest stars are from Nashville, so our judges should have no problem finding talent. And what better place to hold the auditions than a country western bar? After missing her in Atlanta, Randy and Simon are happily reunited with Paula, making for a harmonious trio of judges. Oh, yeah. Seems like the perfect environment for Edwin Nager to make himself right at home. Did you ask? <laughs> I had no choice. Here, Thank you. take it. Wow. What's your name? I'm Edwin Buchanan Nager. I'm from St. Genevieve, Missouri, 7897. And I'll be performing Somebody to Love by Jefferson Airplane. What are these CDs? Oh, yeah, this is my own stuff that I write. And I, uh, yeah, I signed some for you guys. What happened to your shoes? I just took them off so I can be more comfortable. So you can be more free? Yeah. Off right. you go. When the truth is found to be lies and all the joy within you dies oh, don't you want somebody to love won't you need somebody to love he does. wouldn't you love somebody to love you better find somebody to love mm. huh. yeah. simon <laughs> simon's sexy 
He is sexy, don't you? He you is. find him sexy, don't you? Yeah, actually, he is an attractive guy. You know, a lot of people don't like him because his personality sucks. Right. But, you know, other than You that, love him. I'd give him a kiss. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> let, let me look at this. You're in pajamas. You're no, wearing... these are not pajamas. Oh, right. This not... is like a capote, like okay, the French fur trappers were right. worn. You're okay? wearing a strange hat. Get straight. Some sort of weird robe. It's a rock. You're thing. not wearing shoes, <laughs> and you snarled your way through a song. I mean, why do I need to say anything? Yeah, because, you know, I, I rock. <laughs> <laughs> Edwin did everything you shouldn't do in an audition. Here are some more audition don'ts. Don't try and get Simon to play along. To beaver heaven. I said beaver eight, beaver nine. I said stop. It's beaver time. Don't argue with yourself. Chill. I don't want to play with me, man. Don't play. Don't make strange sounds with your body. That was nice. <laughs> don't scream at the judges. Don't bring your lyrics. I had to carry my notes just in case. Number one, you can't sing. Number two, you didn't remember the song. And number three, you can't read your own handwriting. And if you can't remember the words, choose a simple song. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. This can't be all that Nashville has to offer. Maybe number 99, Ruben Stutter can give them the 100% they're looking for. What's up, dog? What's up, man? What's up, man? You all right? I'm straight. How y'all doing? I'm Good cool, man. You. So what are you going to sing, man? Ribbon in the Sky. All right, go for it. Oh, so long. For this night I prayed that a star would guide you my way. There's a ribbon in the sky for our love. If allowed, may I touch your hand and if Okay. All right, all right. Paula, what do you say? Ruben, you have a very nice voice. Thank you. Very good voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Randy, what I do you think? I think very good voice as well. Um, yes or no to American Idol? I would say yes. Thank the Lord. Oh, my God. Yes. Paula? Then you're going to Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood, dog! <laughs> <laughs> Birmingham, Alabama, represent Birmingham. I just like to say hello to my mama. I love you, mama. Thank you for being so supportive to me my whole life. This is my brother. And to my dad, I love you too. Birmingham, we're on our way back home, and I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> so, the big guy's off to Cali. Let's see if size really does matter. I'm five, I'm five years old, and I can see. And I stay at the bump. I'm just going to sing. All right, do your thing. I've been really trying, baby. Holding back this feeling for so long. Hey, do you feel like I feel, baby? Come on, oh, come on. And let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yeah. Um. I already did it. Oh, you were so good. Hey, I'll stay here for a second. Let us talk to you. That was a very nice performance. Probably one of the best ones we've seen. I didn't <laughs> like it. <laughs> um, the uh, Caucasian boy didn't like it. The song. Caucasian one, huh? <laughs> he yeah. liked it, but the brown dude liked it. The brown dude liked it, and the Caucasian guy didn't. Yeah, the Caucasian guy didn't like much. <laughs> he don't like any song. That's right. Can't wait to get in there. And, uh, and give Simon a little taste. Maybe Simon would like hard-working window washer Alden Wynn from South Carolina. Alden, are you from Nashville? No, I'm from Roanoke, Virginia. It's about seven hours away. Yeah, cool, cool. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing uh, Edwin McCain's I'll Be. Go for it, man. Okay. And tell me 
we belong together dress it up with the trappings of love i'll be captivated i'll hang from your lips instead of the gallows of heartache that hang around the bend and i'll be okay okay very very good paula yes or no i say yes randy yeah you're coming to Hollywood. Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood, dude. Yes, Hollywood. yes. yes. Hollywood. Thank you. Well done, Kim. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Very All good. All right, so Alden's hanging up his squeegee and headed to Hollywood. When we come back, a Justin Guarini clone <laughs> and a nutty professor. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Tomorrow night at 8.30, 7.30 Central, you'll meet the top 32. came to Nashville certain they would find some homegrown talent, but the streets were deserted. Where is everyone? Which did raise the question, does anyone actually live here? How many Nashvilleans, true Nashvilleans, do we have? People from Nashville. Anyone? Uh-oh. Are you from Nashville? No, I'm from Indiana. Are you from Nashville? No, I'm from West Virginia. No, I'm from Arkansas. I'm from Ohio. I'm from Arkansas. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Durham, North Carolina. Washington, D.C. Michigan. Aiken, South Carolina. California. Indianapolis. I'm from Youngstown. From Indiana. No, Nigeria. <laughs> Are you from Nashville? Yes, I am from Nashville. All right. Yeah. Finally, finally. So this must be the top talent we're looking for. He was a famous trumpet man from Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a top man at his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with the draft. He's in the army now, blown revelry. Here's the boogie woogie bugle boy company B. Thank you, Amber. That was horrible. Okay, so let's try again. Maybe 16-year-old Jeff Woodward can make Nashville Hello. proud. Hello. Are you from Nashville? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you going to say? Tony breaks I'm break my heart. All right, cool. Here we go. Take back that said word goodbye. Bring back the joy to my life. Oh my God, I forget the rest of the song. You can't sing, dude. You shouldn't be doing this. You should be doing other things. Mm, that's what you say, but I'll still go on singing. Don't. Well, I will. Sorry, thank you. Okay. See Thanks you. for coming down. So the locals, well, we tried. Now let's try some imports, starting with Corey Clark from California. You know who you kind of look like? Who's that? Who do people say? Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson Elder Bars. I was going to say Snoop Dogg. Dog. They say Snoop Dogg. I, I, think I don't see Snoop that. Dogg and Justin Guarini. <laughs> Justin, so. I've heard that a couple times, but he's not the only cat. Two of the most American opposite Marcus people Trump. in America, Snoop Dogg and Justin Guarini. Yeah. And there's Corey. You look kind of familiar. Corey Clark. Yes, ma'am. Corey Clark. I what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Never Can Say Goodbye by Michael Jackson. Love it. Good song. Looking right. forward to it. All right. Every time I think I've had enough and start heading for the door, there's a very strange vibration that pierces me right to the core. It says, turn around, you fool. You know you love her more and more. Tell me why. Is it so? I never can say goodbye. No, 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 no. Thank you. Randy. It sounded good. Very nice. Very nice. Paula. I think you've got star quality. I really do. I liked you a lot. I say yes. Thank you. Yeah, I think you have a good recording voice. I think the only similarity between Justin and this guy is the hair. Because the hair, yeah. That, there is no similarity there whatsoever. Right. Very, very That's a good thing, right? Yeah, well, that's a good thing. Draw your own conclusion. You're going to Hollywood. Well, all right, going, going back, back to Cali. Out that door. Thank you. Congratulations. Boogie. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. And the, the lesson to be learned is Guarini's not the only guy that can what? Wear a natural. That's right. Wear a natural. Well, they may not have been local, but for the first time on the audition tour, the guys seem to be getting all the golden tickets. <laughs> So let's see what the ladies have to offer. I'm a no, Alita. Sorry, I'm afraid it's a no. Really? That's it's a no. Where are all the Faith Hills and the Shania Twains? All right, let's see if Kelly Renee can bring on the much-needed girl power. I bet 
you're wondering how I knew about your plans to make me blue with some other girl you knew before. Between the two of us, girls, you know I loved you more. Girl, it took me by surprise, I must say. When I found out yesterday, baby, I heard it through the grapevine. Good. Good job. Very nice, Kelly. Very nice. Good job. Randy. Very nice. Good. Good personality, good singing voice. Makes a big difference. Randy, yes or no? Yes. Paula? Yes. You're coming to Hollywood, kid. <laughs> You're going to Hollywood. Kelly Renee is going to Hollywood. And nobody can celebrate success quite like the South. Yes, yes. American Idol continues. Find out what got Paula all hot and bothered. Remember, 8.30 tomorrow night, you'll meet the 32 you'll be voting for. Central Fox Wednesday. Time's running out in Nashville, and it's the last chance to audition for American Idol Season 2. The remaining contestants are going to have to pull out all the stops to get the judges' attention. So they dress themselves up as rodeo clowns. Hey, not everyone likes tie-dye cowboy, brother. Dress themselves up in shag carpet. They ripped and unzipped. Whatever they had to do to turn up the heat. But in the end, it's a great voice, not a gimmick, that will get you to round two in Hollywood. Let's see if 23-year-old law student Kimberly Locke has the needed talent. Someday I'll wish for a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where. Thank you. You have a great voice. Thank you. Boy, do you have a good voice. Thank you. You had me smiling. You have such control. Thank very you. Very interesting. interesting choices, too. You're very confident. This competition is very interesting. You know what's happening here? What's happening? Mm. We're going to have two dimensions to this competition this year. We're going to have vocals over image. Yep. I'm telling clearly, you now. Clearly, clearly. I'm That's telling great. you That's now. Good, yeah. We could divide this into two groups here. It's, it's unbelievable yeah. what's happening. Unbelievable. Well, that's great it's for the exciting. talent. It's exciting. Yes, it is. Okay, sure. Randy, yes or no? Definitely yes. Paula? Absolutely yes. See you in Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. Thank you, Jesus. Kimberly's Thank you. headed over the rainbow and off to Tinseltown. And as his family anxiously awaits, Ricky Smith goes in for the very right last now. audition. I give my best to you, but nothing for me to do. But a one last cry, one last cry Before I leave it all behind I've got to put you out of my mind this time Thank you very much indeed. Paula. How old are you? 22. 22. Nice voice. I'm confused about your image. Of, of You look much older than you actually are. Well, I mean, I can look much younger. <laughs> Really good voice. Well, yes and no, guys. I think this guy's in the top 5% in voices agree. we've heard. I agree. You so. definitely sing. You just need to dress younger, dude. So, yes. Okay. Yes to Hollywood. You don't want to dress like your dad. Yes okay. to Hollywood? Yes to Hollywood. Come back to Hollywood. to Hollywood. Work it out. Oh, this is fabulous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Hercules, all right. So 
Well, the judges dig his voice, but not his style. Looks like Ricky has some shopping to do before he and the 29 others from Nashville, or nearby Nashville, head to Hollywood. Overall talent is better. And don't forget the girl who won last year, Kelly, none of us picked up on from this point. Of view. Well, I did. I did. We are going to play that. I did. We're going to find out. I switched seats with her. So I switched seats with her. You guys have a wonderful evening together. Thanks for watching. Oh, it never ends. Yeah. It is a dysfunctional Listen, family. I'm glad I'm not a part of it. Yeah. Be quiet. It's Listen. over for the day. So that's a wrap on our national auditions. Tomorrow night, we're headed to Hollywood with 234 of the best voices in America. But of course, no matter what Simon said, I think that was ghastly. You've just invented a new form of torture. I pay you not to sing. We've obviously overlooked some superstars. That's um, You'll see my name in lights one day, I promise. I'll be great. back. It does not stop here, believe me. I will be the next superstar. Tomorrow night, we move on to the historic Alex Theater, where our 234 finalists come to Hollywood to compete head-to-head -head in a grueling four-day audition process. Some stay out late acting like rock stars, and some turn in early and sing like superstars. It's the last time for the contestants' fate to be in the judges' hands. That was like a musical nightmare. Then it's up to you, America. Tune in tomorrow night at 8.30 for all the trials, not do that. tears, and triumphs on the next American Idol. The News Magazine, The Pulse, is back. In the season premiere, why would a mother drug her own child and tell her she's going to die? A shocking confrontation with a woman in the headlines. Then, meet Joe Millionaire. His private life exposed. The fact that he's not rich isn't his only secret. I think you'd be very surprised. And which diets work and which don't. It's Atkins versus The Zone and more. The Pulse, right after an encore presentation of Joe Millionaire. It all starts at 8, 7 central, Fox Thursday.